and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. Come and take it, but I warn you, you'll have to pry it from my cold dick. All right, guys, we're back with you. We're gonna talk a little philosophy today. I hope you enjoy my window covering right there. It's a combination of a black sheet and a plaid sheet because uh, I haven't really gotten that far to getting window shades in every room of my house yet, even though I've been in this house for like three and a half years now. But hey, I keep buying gear, guns, knives. Takes up money. Forget about stuff like this, so. Awesome gangster window covering behind you. It's a good backdrop for today's video. So let's talk about something that I always find really, really funny on uh, YouTube, and that's everybody's EDC. Their everyday carry videos. There are tons of these videos out there. I've made a few myself. I've got a couple old ones. Feel free to watch them later. They'll be annotated, you know, I don't know, down here. Or, I don't know, somewhere in this general vicinity. Uh, if I remember. If not, uh, you know, click on this thing up here or up there or somewhere up here and subscribe, like, and share the video. Whatever you want to do. Whatever. So guys, it is, uh, what is today's date? Today is the 16th. It is the day after tax day. Unfortunately, there was some BS that happened in Boston yesterday. You know, my heart and prayers go out to all those people who are affected by that. You know, I'm not going to get into it. It's been all over the news. So let's let's move on, though. But today is the 16th. It's almost 420, if you're into that. I don't know. It's getting there. But we're two weeks away from the premiere of Season 3 of Tactical News. I know you're excited. I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. I got a lot of cool stuff lined up for it. It's going to be freaking hilarious. We've got our in the field reporter who's gonna be making appearances. It's gonna be awesome. You might recognize him. You'll never know. I'm not gonna say anything yet. Keeping the lips sealed. Well, I probably can't keep the lips sealed or the video's gonna be really boring, but hey. So let's get back to EDC, our everyday carry. We've all seen the EDC where guys pile their crap up on the table. Oh, I carry three knives and six guns and I have two multi-tools and I carry a 12 ounce, you know, Leatherman Mutt every day. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm almost positive that the only thing you have on you are your keys, your wallet, and a cell phone. You probably don't even have a knife on you every day. It's really funny. I've met guys who are like, oh yeah, I always carry a lot of stuff. I have guys at work who are like gear junkies like me. And they're like, yeah, I've got, you know, my gun and three mags with me, and uh, I got two knives on me every day, and I'm like, show me. And they're like, well, I got chocolate, it didn't work today, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, okay, because you never wear this shit. You have all that crap, and it sits in a box at home, and you never use it. But that's cool. So this is kind of my philosophy on EDC, and I kind of have a, a tiered EDC dependent on what I'm doing, where I'm going, how I'm dressed. Now, if I'm going to work and I'm having to wear slacks and a dress shirt, you know, we happen to have a client in, you know, that day or something like that, then I'm probably going to scale back what I'm carrying. But I have what I like to call my basic EDC that no matter how I'm dressed or where I'm going, if I'm leaving my house, this is what's on me. And the first thing that includes that is my cell phone. Just an iPhone 5, you know, there's plenty of reviews on them, we'll watch them. But I always have my cell phone. Next thing would be my wallet. And this is a real slim profile, slip line wallet. All I have is it is a, uh, my ID, a card, some cash, and some business cards. That's, that's it. So two very compact items go in my right left, or my front left pocket. Along with that, I have my keys which I can't go anywhere without them. And I have a knife. Normally I always have some type of knife on me. If I'm going to work, I will always, if I'm leaving the house, I will always have my Victorian Arts Cadet on me. I love this little knife. It's got a couple of great features. I haven't done a review on it. There are plenty out there. You don't need mine, go watch one. But this drives in my front right pocket. So this is my basic 
EDC. Wallet, phone, Torinox, and my keys. That's my basic EDC. If I'm walking out the door, I will guaranteed have these four items on me, no matter where I'm going. Now, if I'm able to wear what I like wearing, which is generally cargo shorts or jeans or you know khaki cargo pants, something like that, then I'm going to have a little bit more on me. Now I'm always going to have those four items that we started with, but then I'm probably going to scale up and have a full size knife with me. And this one happens to be what I was carrying today. This is a Benchmade McHenry Williams with uh, the D2 blade. Really love this knife. Absolutely fantastic. Really thin, long, but it's an excellent, excellent knife. Great four inch blade on that. Lightning fast, excellent bench made knife. We all love it, it's kind of like a staple. Then if I'm obviously gonna have a light. I really like having a flashlight on me. You know, I really try, unless I'm wearing like slacks and I just can't carry a light, I'm always gonna have some type of flashlight. I mean, generally, I'm gonna carry my Olight T10. This is an excellent, excellent 280 lumen light. It's got five modes on it, SOS and strobe. This is my favorite. If I want something a little bit smaller than that, then I'm probably gonna resort to my Pelican 1910, which is a very small, very tiny, one uh, AAA battery, small, I think it's a 80 lumens flashlight. Excellent light, but it's very compact, very tiny, and it fits in anything. And then I will most likely have my Leatherman squirt. I love this little thing. It's got like every little feature on it that I could need. Has a great little wrench on it, a little pair of pliers on it. It has a scissor, which I think is just the coolest thing that they were able to fit in this little guy. Is this awesome little scissor. But this does a lot of work for me because I work with computers, guys, so I'm always doing stuff. I'm inside a computer or fixing something or in the ceiling running a new wire or cables or whatnot at work. So I always have this little guy with me when I'm at work because I do so much work with this little. This is my third one. I've actually broken two of them. Simply for the fact that I was doing stuff with them that I should have been using a much larger multi-tool to do. But I, it's what I carry and this is what I use. So this is my favorite. This little guy and I got just a little piece of lanyard. Uh, paracord lanyard on there just so I can find it in my pocket easier so that would be my basic really my basic EDC is those six seven items now if I'm not at work because at work we unfortunately I work in a gun-free building uh, that's not my full my personal choice that's also not my boss's personal choice but the building our office resides in currently has posted a no firearms on the property and they have a couple of asshole security guards that like to pat people down at random. We've had a few confrontations about that. They know not to screw with me anymore. I do not like being without my firearm, but I do follow the rules. Unfortunately, I have to. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I don't feel like getting arrested for bringing a, pro a firearm on a no firearms posted sign property. It's illegal in Arizona. But when I am able to carry my firearm, I have my Glock 19. Yes, it's loaded. Yes, there's a round in the chamber. Yes, that magazine's full. Suck it. <laughs> I don't unload my guns, ever. Unless I'm changing to a different gun. Then I'll unload this one and load the next one. But this is 90, I would say 90% of the time, this is what I carry. My Glock 19 with the extended, uh, it's not an extended magazine, it's the regular 15 round magazine, just with the little uh, pinky uh, ramp on the bottom of the mag, changed out the base plate, that's all. Done the interiors, you've seen the video on it, there'll be an annotation maybe for that somewhere around this vicinity. Um, this is a custom Kydex holster that a guy here in Phoenix made for me. I really like it, really slim profile. It is the uh, desert camo uh, pattern. I don't know, he didn't tell me what he was using, he just said I'd like it, and it's pretty cool. Um, I don't wear this visible at all. This is always under my shirt. Uh, you can't see my my gun at all. Generally, I do prefer uh, in the waistband 
uh, holsters, but I just got this one, so I've been check trying it out, so that's what it's been riding in. Normally, it rides in something more like this, uh, just a cheap Uncle Mike's, like $10 in the waistband holster. I actually have no problems with these holsters. I They fit me well, they sit well, they don't move around on me, and I've never had a problem, so this is what I use. I don't buy expensive holsters. I get what works, and this works. So, I, unlike you, live in Arizona, and we have a uh, no permit required concealed carry law here. You can buy, legally buy a firearm, you can legally conceal and carry that gun. You do not need a permit, you do not have to apply, go to any classes, you can go buy your gun, stick it under your shirt, and walk around with it, and it's completely legal in this state. I love Arizona. Now, I do agree that, you know, the CCW licensing is good. I prefer it. I have one. I am a proponent of people taking the class, whether you need it or not, because the class doesn't teach you how to shoot. The class teaches you the law. And when it is legal for you to brandish your weapon and when it is not legal for you to brandish your weapon. And a lot of people don't know the scenarios of that and have gotten themselves in trouble. Now, in Arizona, with the non-CCW licensed concealed carry, just the state carry law, you can't be within a thousand yards of a school. Good luck finding a lot of places that are not a thousand yards from a school in the metropolitan Phoenix area. I actually could not legally conceal my gun and walk out my front door because I am less than a thousand yards from an elementary school. So that is part of that law that a lot of people in Arizona don't know about. That's why I like having my concealed carry license because I can walk right past that school and have my weapon concealed and it's legal. Now, I can't step on the property of that school then it would be illegal because even with licensing, you cannot step on state school property with a firearm. It's against the law here. So, but I have the ability to walk past it or drive past it and legally have my weapon concealed. This is why I'm a very big proponent of knowing the laws in your state. Now, I know the laws in Arizona by heart. I've had cops stop and harass me because I may have been wearing a shirt that was a smidgen too tight for this area and I was printing a little and you could see it a little on the back on my uh, five o'clock on my hip under my shirt I had an officer stop me when we were walking through an outdoor mall that did not have any no carry signs posted not that I was able to see and none that he knew of either but he stopped me and questioned me because he saw me printing under my shirt and we had a brief conversation. I explained the law to him. I explained to him that I have a concealed carry license and that if he wanted to see any of that documentation, then he better have a really good reason other than the fact that I just didn't conceal my shit that well today, that day. So moving past that, let's get back to CCW. It kind of got off there. If you're gonna carry your gun guys, know the laws in your state, know what your CC does and know what other states honor your CCW. Now, I know having an Arizona CCW, there are 37 other states in this union that I can legally carry my gun concealed in with my Arizona CCW. I believe only two states, Arizona and Utah, are the two states that have CCWs that have the ability to go around the country and have a majority of the states acknowledge and accept those concealed carry licenses as you're moving state state. I believe Arizona, I can take that to 37 states Roughly, uh, it's changed a little bit. I think Nevada just decided not to accept Arizona CCWs. Whatever. I don't go to Vegas that much anymore. Anyways, it's too expensive. EDC. Level one. I have my wallet, my keys, my phone, and my Victoria Knox Cadet. Level two. I have those first four items. A full-size knife, my flashlight, and my Leatherman Squirt. Level three, all those items, plus my firearm. Level four, haven't gotten there yet. There's the fourth level, guys. Now, if I'm carrying a whole bunch of shit and guys, I carry crap with me constantly, well, level four, I've moved past EDC to my everyday carry bag, which is right here. This is my Kelty Redtail 1800 review coming. 
This is my Urban Every EDC bag or Urban Go bag or whatever you want to call it. This is it right here. Love this bag. And I've got my water bottle right here. Let me take a sip. Ah, refreshing. So we'll talk about what's in that bag in the next video, which will be my Urban EDC bag. So as always guys, Thank you for watching. I'm excited. May 1st, 2013, the return of Tactical News. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. You're going to recognize some people that are in it. You're going to enjoy it. It's going to be funny and kick-ass, and I'm excited for it. I hope you are. As always, Semper Fi, have a good day. So you best not cross that line. If you want this gun, you got to come through us and take it. One shot at a time. But if you're going to carry a gun, guys, know your laws. Know the laws of your state. Know if you have a CCW, what states have rep... Uh, rep I can't say this word. Reprocity. Is that the word? Repro rep repro